Hi guys, it's Fern Shade here, and I'm in the vehicle right now, like, waiting for my parents to finish shopping, and I brought my Chromebook with because I knew I'd be sitting in the vehicle and I needed something to do. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I want to rant today about three different couples because, uh, why not? I've been wanting to do a rant for a while now, but unfortunately I only got my mic to work on my Chromebook in here, like today, in the vehicle. So, yeah. Hopefully I can uh, do this without getting freaked out by what's going on outside. It's just super windy, so if you hear anything, it's just the wind. Anyway... My first couple is Lion X Heather. Well, Lion Blaze X Heather Tail. Um, as you know, I don't like Lion Blaze. I, I think Lion Blaze is a jerk, and I don't like how he treated Heather Tail. And even after he got with Cinderheart, he was all like, "Oh, uh, I love Cinderheart, but I still think that Heather Tail is prettier." Like, no, you don't do that like no and then he when in eclipse during the battle where it was found out that Winkla knew where the tunnels were he blamed heather tail and she promised that she didn't she didn't uh tell anyone where the tunnels were and she said it was the kids that did that music like, hey, likely story i'm gonna attack you now and i was just like no dude no so he sucks. I don't like how he ditched Heather Tail either. Like, he broke her heart by doing that. And you could argue that, yeah, it's for the warrior code. He was doing his duty for the warrior code. But, uh, I don't know. It, it was a friendship. And Heather Tail knew that friendship goes beyond the code. Like, it goes beyond the borders and stuff. And I don't know. Uh... I just don't have a lot to say other than that. I don't like Lion Blaze. I like them as a couple, but then um I hated how he left her. And I think that Breeze Pelt treats her good. So, yeah, I actually ship her with Breeze Pelt now because Lion Blaze is a big dick. The next couple I'm going to be talking about is Crowfeather X Nightcloud. Uh, I... I felt bad for Nightcloud because Crowfeather was, like, super distant, and he used her to prove his loyalty to WinClan. He didn't, even in Crowfeather's trial, he didn't ever talk about loving her. He was just like, oh, I made it with a cat I didn't love. And she loved him, like, pretty much. She loved him. And he was always distant. And he never loved her back. Like, she deserved affection. And, like, it makes sense as to why she's short-tempered and prickly. Like, if my boyfriend, like, or husband or whatever, started, like, if he was distant and didn't show me any love, decided to have a baby with me, and then didn't even show the baby love, then, no, duh, I would be short-tempered and prickly, and I would probably argue with him a lot, too, because I'm never an argumentative person already. But, like, when you have someone doing crap like that, it's just, no... So I pretty much felt bad for Nightcloud. I think that Crowfeather didn't need another mate to prove his loyalty, but whatever. And the last ship I'm going to talk about is Greystripe x Millie. I don't see the appeal. Like, I, uh, like, some people are, like, hardcore shippers or they hate them, but I'm, like, neutral. I didn't, I thought Millie was a bit annoying, to tell you the truth. Like, Silverstream is better. To, for him, in my opinion, and, like, Millie, she did, she did leave, I'll, I'll give her that, she left her two legs to be with them, she did that, but, uh, I mean, there are part, part of the time she didn't listen to Grace, right, like, just for a small part of the, the journey together, and then when they got there, like, when she had kids, she, like, when Briar Light got injured, she, like, forgot Blossomfall existed. And you could say that Blossomfall was being whiny, but, like, 
like, because her mother wasn't showing her any love, but she just wanted to be loved by her mother. And her mother yelled at her like she was injured. She was, like, bleeding. And then Millie walked up to her and told her to, like, stop fooling around. And I was like, dude, no. Grace Type is a good father. Uh, I have to say, I'll give him that. Like, he, I mean, I'll give him more because I like him. But, like, he's a good father. And once Millie came with him to Thunder Clan, I don't know. She just got boring. Like, I liked her. Like, in the journey, even if she's annoying at times, she's interesting. But after that, she isn't. After that, she just isn't as interesting. So, yeah. Uh, sorry about the pause, by the way. My Chromebook decided to do something stupid. Uh, I don't know. She's just there. And that's all I have to say. At least Graystripe had company. Like, that's good. I think he could have gone without a mate, but, you know, whatever. That's all I have to say for now, like, or in this video. Sorry for all, like, the pauses and stuttering and stuff. These aren't scripted. These are just rants. So, yeah. I hope you enjoy. Burnshine out.